Hi, I'm Diana. I have thought about another free energy device. I call it a magnetic lever arch. It uses only permanent magnets. This is a magnetic arch. This part has the strongest magnetic field of 60 pounds of force. This part has the weakest magnetic field of 10 pounds of force. The inside faces of all the magnets are all self poles. This and this are support columns. This is an electric generator. It contains a flywheel and a ratchet device. This is a lever arm attached to the generator. This arm swings back and forth. This activates the ratchet device that causes the generator's rotor to spin only in one direction. This is a slider magnet. It has a hold in the center. It slides up and down the lever arm. This slider magnet has the same magnetic south pole as the south poles of the magnetic arch. There's a repulsive field between the slider magnet and the magnetic arch. The magnetic arch here has a repulsive force of 60 pounds. The slider magnet weighs 10 pounds. It falls 10 feet down the lever arm. It reaches the bottom with 100 pounds of force. This much force allows it to penetrate the repulsion field of 60 pounds of force. When it reaches the bottom, an electric catch automatically holds the slider magnet in place, so it's not forced back up the slider arm. The slider magnet only has one direction to move, and that is up along the magnetic arch. It swings from the strong repulsive field to the weakest field. This action causes the generator to produce electricity. When it reaches the top of the lever arm, it stops automatically by an electric catch. The slider magnet then slides back to the pivot. A catch holds it in place. Then the lever arm is dropped. The process is now ready to be repeated.